Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trusting me with your energy. I greatly appreciate it. First message we have is, what the hell was I doing? Okay. Right now, I feel that your person is going back over their behavior in the past and they realize that they made a wrong turn somewhere. I just heard embarrassed. Your person is embarrassed by, by their behavior, by something they said to you, by something they did to you, by just a string of actions that led you to where the connection is today. Your person may be realizing that they played a huge part in the trajectory of the connection. They played a huge part in the delays. Um, there are so many things that they were feeling for you that they didn't say. They pulled back from you. Um, they're just like, what the hell? Like, I'm the blame for this. So I feel like your person realizes and they're admitting to themselves, they're finally ready to get real about the part that they played in the connection and the status of where it is today, right now. The next message we have is, am I wrong for feeling this way? Hmm. So what I'm getting with this with this one is there's something or there's someone, okay, as it pertains to this connection that makes your person feel wrong about loving you. I feel like there's some type of guilt here or there's some type of shame or something that is attached to the way your person feels about you. I'm picking up there, there's another person here. So maybe you are already in a connection and you fell in love with your person. Maybe they're already in, in a connection and they fell in love with you here. But there's a person here, okay, or, or another energy here that makes your person feel wrong about how they feel about you. And they're at the stage where they're questioning themselves about how they feel. They're confused because they're like, how can this be wrong if... I can't get over this person. How can this be wrong if we've connected spiritually? I've prayed about this person. I've gotten divine guidance for this person. This person has awakened me and changed my life in so many ways. How can this be wrong? So I feel that there can be a person, there's some type of barrier between you and your person that makes them feel guilty here as it pertains to them loving you. I'm also getting that it's, all, it's like you can pick up on this energy because your person is very hot and cold with you. It's almost as if when you're in their energy, it's very intense, it's very passionate, okay? You both are like on cloud nine. And then it's like something drastically switches and your person becomes cold or they become distant or they run from you. And it's like when they're in your energy, they're one way, but maybe when they get with this person or... The energy is somehow manipulated by something else here. And it's making your person question whether they're wrong for feeling as intensely as they do about you, for loving you, for falling in love with you. Maybe, maybe I'm getting that some of the feminists are feeling this too. You may be questioning, if you have a person, you may be questioning, am I wrong for loving someone else? Am I wrong for engaging this, for wanting this person? I'm also getting intimately. Um, so this can be tied to intimacy in some kind of way. I'm getting a strong, very, very strong sexual chemistry here that is pulling on the both of you. But there's guilt here. There's an underlying guilty energy here or shame. Let's get the next message here. We have, I ran because I wasn't ready. So yeah, your person wants you to know that anytime they, they run from you, I just keep getting intensity. This, this, this connection is extremely intense here. And I feel that 
when you came in contact with your person, there were so many emotions and it took off so fast that maybe they didn't want a commitment at that time or they didn't know how to commit to you at that time. But it's almost as if they already feel committed to you in some kind of way here. It's, it's a weird energy that I'm picking up on. So there's that hot and cold thing again. It's like you get really, really intense here. You feel as if, you know, things are progressing and then your person runs from you. But it's almost as if when they're away from you, they feel this void. They want you. It makes them want you even more. Then they come back to you. It's like this, this tug of war energy here. Because ultimately what I'm picking up is your person, you guys are already committed here spiritually. So... Maybe this hasn't manifested in a 3D yet, but there's there's definitely a commitment here, okay? I'm getting that your hearts are committed to each other regardless of how far you may be pulled apart from each other. So it's like your person wants you to know that they only ran from you because they weren't ready, but it's almost as if when they're away from you, they feel ready, but then they come into your energy and then they don't feel ready. It's just, yeah. This could also be tied to this other person here that's in either your energy or your person's energy here. It's like the intensity of the connection brings you brings you too close together and then you realize there's something blocking the actual commitment here. Wow. We have they're jealous of our love. So there's definitely... Um, an additional energy here that is be, that has become a barrier between this connection. Um, for some of you, this could be a partner that you have or a partner that your person has where they may not know who you are or your person is specifically, but they can definitely pick up the fact that your energy is somewhere else. And this person is jealous of that. They're jealous of, of who you are when you're with this person or the version of you that this person brings out of you. I'm also getting for some of you, your person spoke to someone close to them in confidence about your connection here. And this person may have made them feel wrong for loving you here. So the feedback that your person got from this person was some type of low energy, jealous type of feedback here. And they made your person feel wrong about this connection. Maybe your person was explaining, I've never felt like this before. This person just opened my world up spiritually. I feel like, you know, my higher self around them. Um, I see life through a totally new lens here. I've never felt like anyone. I cannot get over this divine feminine. No matter how hard I try, I keep being pulled back to her. This has to mean something. It has to mean something. And I feel like the, the feedback that they got from this person was not favorable. And it may, sure, it may, it may make your person feel wrong in some kind of way because who, whoever this person is, this is somebody that they confided in. Maybe this is you, Divine Feminine. Maybe you confided, confided in someone about this connection as well and you did not get the response that you thought you would get here. You thought that somebody would understand... Um, what a twin flame connection was. You thought somebody would understand how powerful it is, how spiritual it is. And I feel like somebody definitely did not give you a favorable response here. And you're realizing that you do have people in your energy that are actually jealous of this connection. And it's not even about your person or being attached to your person. It's just the energy that it brings out in you. People can see this. They can feel it. And there's someone in the energy here who's jealous of it. The next message we have is you changed me. Exactly. You have opened your person's world up completely here. Some of you were the catalyst to their um, spiritual awakening. For some of you, I'm even getting kundalini awakening. And maybe for some of you here, um, kundalini activation. But you definitely have changed your person. They want you to know that they are not the same. They're not the same person that they used to be here. And they're thinking about everything that they went wrong. They are embarrassed about how they treated you. They're embarrassed about how they presented themselves in this connection. 
some of them are they even feel ashamed that they that they let other people into this sacred union here i'm getting that they maybe open this up for opinion here and it kind of tainted you know their view of of this connection for a while here it didn't last long but i guess in the moment it made them second glass it made them question were they wrong for something is this even right? Should they even be engaging in this with you? Maybe this is your energy, divine feminine, but your person is doing a lot of self-reflection as it pertains to you in this connection. They're realizing that they made a lot of wrong turns here and they're quite embarrassed about their actions. They're quite embarrassed about their actions. This, this, this person wants you to know that um, they, I feel the energy of them wanting to have like a real conversation with you, like laying everything on the table and just putting it out there. I'm also picking up, there is so much that has gone unsaid between you. You feel so much, they feel so much. And it's like, when you come in contact, I just feel surfaced. Like you may talk about surface things. You're not getting to, to the meat and potatoes of this. And your person really, really wants to express how they feel deeply. They want you to know, look, I'm embarrassed. I should have never done this. I made a wrong turn here. They really, really want to come clean about this. The last message we have. Oh, we have, I want a fresh start. Yeah. Your person feels as if they didn't represent themselves well in this connection. You didn't get their full authentic version here. You got a watered down version of your person. There is definitely someone in the energy here who may have been taming this connection. Somebody was given some unfavorable feedback. Okay, um, major person question, was this wrong? Maybe you were holding back because you felt like it was wrong. They were holding back here. But I feel like your person feels like they didn't get a fair shot to really show you how they feel. You felt it, but they want to show you. They want a fresh start. But I feel before you get to the part where you start over, they want to talk to you about this. They feel as if it's important that you know that they have awakened to the fact that they have, you know, played a huge part in the delays of the connection. So you may be hearing from your person soon, but this conversation I feel will be different from all the conversations you've ever had with them. They, they This is gonna be a real like heart to heart, no judgment, none of that. Just your heart to their heart offering you the real authentic truth about who they are, how they showed up, and how they want to correct this moving forward. So that's the message that I have for today. If you resonated with this, be sure to like the video on your way out, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! The next